Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivers, and I am the Carb Addiction Doc, and today we're going to talk about fish oil. Well, fish oil is kind of this general word. What does it mean? Fish oil really is about two molecules, 3-omega and 6-omega polyunsaturated fatty acids. Why are they important? Because the human body is a beautiful thing. It can take most molecules, most energy molecules, and convert them to fat of different kinds. Um, monounsaturated, saturated, and polyunsaturated fat. But there are two fats that, the hu that are essential to human survival, to essential to every cell in the human body, that the human body cannot manufacture. And those are three and six omega fatty acids. What it means is where the double bond chains are. And I don't want to bore you with those details, the science you can look up, but those two molecules have to be consumed for healthy humans, particularly for a healthy brain. But all cells depend on them, okay? From uh, creation to death, from conception creation to death, three, uh, uh, three and six omega fatty acids are essential. Three and six omega fatty acids in the correct ratio, a one to three, one to four ratio, of three to six is ideal, one to six, one to eight, not so much because the six omega fatty acids, when eaten in excess without the protection from the threes, can produce things like arachidonic acid and uh, inflammatory molecules, but you need a balance of both in one to two, one to three, one to four ratio. Where do they come from? Well, <laughs> they originate in the plant kingdom. They originate in plants especially in sea-based plants, planktons and that kind of thing. And what happens is, up the fish chain, those fish then consume that plankton, concentrate. Fish do not produce, fish do not produce three or six omega fatty acids, but because they're eating the plankton in the sea, the smaller fish and the bigger fish eat the smaller ones and the crustaceans, they concentrate the three and the six omega fatty acids as they go up the chain of fish. So, we get our three and six omega fatty acids from eating fish. That's why shoreline living was so important to human beings in the old days. We got salt, we got water, we got our three and six omega fatty acids from the fish and the seafood, and we got our red meat, which is also essential for human beings. But the three and the six omega fatty acids are essential. Now, in the modern human diet, they, you can get them from your food. You can get them from eating animal products, particularly pasture-raised animal products, which can be a little bit more expensive. So, fine, you may get them if you're mostly carnivore. You can get them from liver. You can get them from eating those animal products. You can get them from eating fish. You can get them from the fatty fishes, the salmon, the smaller fishes, the sardines, the anchovies, the smaller mackerels. The smaller the fish are, the higher the concentration of that, of that fat is because we're eating more of the whole fish. Same thing with the crustaceans. But folks, you know me as being very anti-supplementation, very anti-supplementation. And if you're not going to force yourself to eat seafood, to eat fish on a regular basis, particularly fatty fish, there is no harm to supplementing with a healthy source of fish oil. And it should be high in three omega fatty acids, should not be farm fish. We actually use something called krill oil. And my wife, Janae, used it when she was pregnant. My baby, Rian, right now, gets it in his milk once or twice a week because his brain is developing and we're desperately trying to avoid autism and autism spectrum disorders. There's been this new commercialization of something called Vicepa, which is this alkalized ester uh, 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 um, ester of fish oil that they're selling in buckets to people with high triglycerides. That's crazy. In my opinion, there's other videos on that. But get fish oil in and get a healthy source of 3 omega fatty acids. So if you focus on 3 omega fatty acids, I have to get those in. Am I going to eat fish? Am I going to eat uh, um, pasture-fed animals? Or am I going to take it in pill form? And there is no harm in supplementing it in pill form. So please, 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 for your brain health, we can talk about carbohydrates, we can talk about other fats, but do get an adequate source of three and six omega fatty acids into your diet. Fish oil. I hope this helps. I hope this makes you think whether it comes from your diet as a focus source or it comes from a pill. I'm not a huge supporter of supplements, but this is one of those places where I think, depending on your lifestyle, it is important. 
Take care. I hope this helps. If you want to know more information, text us to 561-517-0642 to set up a consultation with myself or our nutritionist, Jane Brown.